After buying our fish tank, setting it up, getting it all ready for our beta sisters, sorority sisters, they are finally here. I am so excited for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't mind all the dirt, it was super windy, but they're here. This is a quick intermission. I was in the middle of recording a video and these two bad boys arrived. These are our new additions. They're beta fish. But, oh my god, uh, I need to open these right away because it's super hot here and uh, I mean it's priority shipping. I just want to make sure they're okay. So I'm so excited. I totally forgot what I was going to do and say in this video. <laughs> I knew they were coming but I wasn't too sure if I had to go pick them up. They actually came to my doorstep this time. Last time I had to pick up Zoo at the post office. Glad I was here too because I was making a video. And I was out, but I knew they were gonna be here soon, so I was like, you know what? I can't be out for too long because we're doing a beta sorority tank. I keep almost cutting my finger off, sorry. I've had the tank set up now. If you guys didn't see that video of the setup, go watch it. Super cool setup. If not, no worries. I'm gonna show a little bit of it today. When I put them inside, I've had the tank up for so long. I just couldn't, like, I knew what type of beta fish I wanted. But they just didn't have any in stock like the whole time that I tried to buy them. Just hope they're okay in here. <gasps> here she is. Look at that. So this is the first female. She is a galaxy koi. Like zoo. But she's just not a dumbo. And I actually did get two in one. Look at this. And this one, she's a platinum. She's a dumbo fish. Platinum Dumbo here. This is a mystery box beta fish. I have no idea what's in here. I'm about to open it and me and you are both gonna find out what's in here. I have no idea. It's gonna be super fun. There is a rare galaxy koi fish in here, like Zoo, but I just don't know how her patterns are gonna look or anything. So we're gonna, we're about to find out. Super excited. <gasps> Oh, she's a Dumbo, perfect. Oh, just like Zoo, she is adorable. If it would freaking Zoo, that means we might have Dumbo babies or we are gonna have Dumbo babies. She is beautiful. All right, well, let's go pop them in to the new tank. Fishies are in, well, they're not in. They're accustoming, they're accumulating. Accumulating? So the fish arrived in very good condition. Their colors are just a little dim, which is perfectly fine because they're a little stressed from the trip. But they're acclimating to the water, which is really nice. I have my light on a timer and I'm going to turn it off right now so it could be a little bit more stress-free. But just for the sake of the video, I'm going to leave it on. Mentioned in my last video, I just did a video on the setup alone if you guys want to go watch it. Uh, I do have a couple guppies in here. Of course, I'm going to monitor them to see if they get along. If not, I do have a pond going on outside that's a little, it's like a week old right now. So I'll just transfer them in there if anything. But hopefully they get along and I can keep them in here. We'll wait a couple of minutes. A little longer than a few minutes later. The guppies are curious what's going on right now. So it's been roughly 40 minutes. The temperature is set to 78 degrees. So the way that I actually do it is I release them onto my hand so I don't get any water in there. First fishy. Oh, I didn't even get this. Let you guys see her. There's the other one.
I got the betas, this cute little tunnel that the guppies are actually using. Oh, snowballs going in there. Oh, snow. snow cones going in there for the first time. Yeah, so it's just a little resting spot. It's also at where the current is for the filter, so I'll give them like a little bit of rest from that flowing water. I got one for Zoo as well, our male beta. So I'll be putting that in his tank, but just wanted to show you guys how it looks like. Looks like that's gonna be her little space now. So yeah, we did name our betas now. That one right there is our platinum. I named her Snow Cone. And then we have Fruity Pebbles and our main beta that we're gonna be breeding with Zoo, Xena. So it's Xena and Zoo. Xena right here. And then here's Fruity Pebbles, right over there. I still have to replant a lot more plants into this. I hope you liked the three Beta Sorority Sisters. They are getting along very, very well, thankfully. A lot of you were warning me that Beta Sorority tanks don't do well because they usually fight and stuff, but that's not the case for us. The guppies are also getting really along with them, so everything is perfectly in harmony in this tank. Yes. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like so I know that you enjoyed it and I can make more. But besides that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.